Hey guys, what's up? Trish here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to re-moisturize dry hair and how I achieved this look. Stay tuned. Hey guys, I pop back on. I'm back. I have finished twisting up my hair for refreshing, re-moisturizing my hair. I decided to add a pop of color 
that's going to be a separate video uh, of me doing a uh, blue skunk stripe of color in my hair. So that's when you see this blue twist, that's what the blue twist is about in the gloves. But that's that's a separate video. I didn't want to make this video too long. Uh, but yeah, I got my hair all twisted up. I'm feeling moisturized and good. So I'm going to let it dry and I'll come back and show you the final results of me re-moisturizing my hair. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, I'm back. It is not the next day, but the following day after I re-moisturized my hair and also I added some blue temporary color to my hair. I have taken down my twist. I had about 11 twists and this is what they're looking like. I uh, look like I got some really good definition. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish unraveling my hair and um, fluffing it. And I'll be back. Stay tuned. Hey guys, I'm back. I have separated and fluffed my hair. This is what it's looking like. Again, what I did was I re-moisturized my hair. I had had my hair in a twist out. I had used the 4C only products and it had been probably five or six days. Um, my hair had gotten a little dry. I wasn't quite ready to uh, re-wash my hair. So what I decided to do was to re-moisturize it, to keep it moisturized so it won't get dry, brittle, and break. So again, real quickly, what I used to re-moisturize, I had separated my hair into sections to each section. I spritzed it with water first and rubbed the water in real good to my hair. After that, I used a little bit from the same line that I had styled with, the 4C only. I used a little bit of the leave-in conditioner to each section. And after the leave-in conditioner, uh, what was that? Oh, here's it right over here. Uh, I use the Mish Polish Hair and Scalp Oil to seal in the moisture. And I twisted my hair in approximately 11 twists, I think. And uh, I did add a pop of temporary color. And for that, I use the um, Magic Collection uh, Color Effect in Blue. And I, I got a video on that, a separate video, because I didn't want this one too long on how I did that. And I just put a pop of color in there. Um, and so let's see what my hair is feeling like. It feels re-moisturized. And that's what I wanted. Uh, the definition is great. That's what it's looking like. And again, what I did to my hair, I separated it and fluffed it with my fingers. That's it. I have not done any additional stretching to my hair with heat, even though I'm thinking about doing that. But yeah, this is what it's looking like. It feels great. It feels good. So, you know, guys, you know, sometimes, you know, we get busy but you know the week goes by our hair gets dry we don't have we don't have time to you know do the whole wash day thing we just need a couple of more days you know to make it to <laughs> the next wash day you can always you know re-moisturize especially like a a twist out or a braid out if you haven't used like you know some real heavy products or anything and again i wasn't going to put a whole lot more products in my hair because i knew i was washing it in a couple of days i started with water the water the water works miracles, I'm telling you. It's, it's the key to moisture. It's the most basic form of moisture. So, 
that's what I got here. So um, that's it, guys. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that thumbs up button and share it with someone else who you think may benefit from the information. And uh, I guess I'll see you in the next video. Until next time, peace.